Trading is a difficult and competitive field to be in with many pitfalls for the uninformed. The market moves in unpredictable ways and it can be hard to know when the right time to buy or sell is. And that's where market internals come into play. We have many indicators and tools that we've built that helps us really understand the underlying workings behind the market, but I think there's no better one than the actual internal, the NYSE tick. In today's video, we're going to be building a way to try and receive text alerts anytime the tick hits extreme readings. We'll call that plus 1000 or minus 1000. Now we already have a few different tools here to try and help us track the internals along with what's happening in the market. One of them is the cumulative tick indicator. We've already built this, so in case you're curious how it was built or learn more about the tick, this is the tutorial to reference. It's free for everyone and I've left a link to it in the description box below. Now for volatility box members, we took that one step further and we have the cumulative tick pro indicator. That's where we're actually taking all of the analysis from the cumulative tick and turning that into something more concrete. Things like giving you a heads up when the market's likely to trend, giving you a heads up when the market's likely to exhaust its trend and actually start to revert back to its mean. So those are two tools around the actual tick. We also have the utility labels, which I talked about in the previous video, which lets you really understand things on a more sector wide basis. However, what happens when you want to simply understand that there's a lot of buying pressure happening right now or a lot of selling pressure happening right now? That's where today's video is going to come into play, where we're going to be building very simple alerts inside of the Thinkorswim platform to notify us via text anytime we have any of these extreme readings. We'll set this up for plus 1000 and minus 1000 tick readings, but in case you want to add more granular levels as well, you'll know exactly how to do that. All right, let's get started with building our first alert for a plus 1000 tick reading. Now coming inside of our charts, before we create the alert, I think it's useful to show you what that tick pro looks like in terms of giving you that heads up. So right here, for example, this was Thursday's activity. You'll see the likely trending up notification and this prints at 7 a.m. Pacific. This is the whole idea of the cumulative tick pro version of the indicator. It takes the same cumulative ticks, which is in the free version, and actually gives you some sort of actionable insight with it. That's to say, using the first 30 minutes worth of data, what do the market internals look like? And it's not giving you any sort of a hint one direction or the other. Do we have a tendency or a likelihood to try and trend up every time we've seen similar tick readings? Or conversely, do we have a tendency to not have anything insightful or even exhaust a previous day's trend? So that's the example of what the tick pro looks like. Now to actually create the alert for the physical tick, not the cumulative tick, we can load in a chart for uh, the NYSE tick, which is dollar sign T-I-C-K. Now inside of there, you'll see I already have one alert created, but we're going to repeat this same process. Now here we can right click anywhere on your chart and click create alert. That should then bring up this prompt, which is the create alert on price uh, feature inside of Thinkorswim. Now here, the symbol should remain as the dollar sign T-I-C-K. For our price, we're going to use the market price and we'll say that price is at or above and you can change this number to be plus 1000. So let me go ahead and update that. So this is now telling Thinkorswim that, hey, I'd like to receive an alert anytime the market price for the NYSE tick, meaning the market internals, is at or above the plus 1000 mark. Now the notes section is what you would like the alert to actually send you. So here I can say something like tick uh, is at or above plus 1000. Right, so that's the text that I'd like to see in case you'd like something different, you can change it. This is really your own custom preference. Now, before you click create, we can open this up right down here below where it says notify with. Let me keep scrolling down. And now we have our new set of options available to us here. So here, for example, when this alert is triggered, we can say play sound. This is going to be a sound similar to the alert you just saw come inside of my platform. You can also have it send you an email if you'd like to send an email. But the one that I think is most interesting is send text messages during US market hours. So if you have this box checked, then that will then give you a text message anytime you have this plus 1000 reading. You can also select, which I have right here, send a push notification to your mobile device. And this is assuming you have the Thinkorswim mobile app downloaded. Well, now you'll have an alert using the mobile app. You'll have an alert via the actual text message that you've configured, along with a notification inside of the platform with a simple sound. Now, once we have that, scroll down to the next set of options, which is uh, detailed by the actual options tab. 
Now here we can say submit this alert now. There's no expiration date since we'd like this to always recycle. And now for the alert for reverse crossover, we can set this to be create silent alert. We don't want to receive an alert for the reverse side just whenever we cross the plus 1000 reading. So now once we have all of these options set, we can click create and that has now created an alert which you can find inside of your market watch tab. So if you go to the market watch tab at the top, then click alerts, you should find the alert that you just created. Here we said the mark is at or above plus 1000. The current tick reading is negative 532. And the note that we will actually receive is tick is at or above plus 1000. So that's one example of creating the positive plus 1000 extreme tick reading. Now to create the other side, the negative 1000 tick reading, you can right click very similarly, follow the same processes, but instead of the plus 1000 here, we'll say minus 1000. And instead of mark is at or above, we can say mark is at or below the minus 1000 mark. Here I can say something like tick is at or below minus 1000. Now I'll come right back down to the same two options that we had configured. And here we can have play sound, send a text message and send a push notification. Keep coming down to the options section, submit now, never expire and create a silent alert crossover and click create. That then gives us the bottom side alert as well, which you'll notice is linked to that minus 1000 mark. Both of these alerts will show up inside of your alerts tab in the market watch section, where you now see we have both a plus 1000 and a minus 1000 tick reading. Now, one last thing I'd like to talk about in this video is how do you configure the number that the text gets sent to? It's something basic and obvious, but not a lot of people have it configured. To do so, click the setup button in the top right hand corner. There, choose application settings. Inside of the application settings, you'll find a tab that says notifications. Go ahead and go to that tab. And there you'll have two different options here. One is send email to, and there you can configure which email address you'd like to send to. And finally, you'll have a send text to where you need to confirm your phone number. But once you do that, that's the phone number that all these texts will go to. So that's how you can set the actual number along with the email address that you'd like to see this uh, alert for the tick reading get sent to. All right, so I hope you found this video to be useful. In this video, we took the basic tick reading and we created two different alerts for it to really track extreme values, plus 1000, minus 1000 tick readings. What you'll find, at least if you set this up, is at least in periods like this previous week where you start off the morning and that first 30 minutes really trending one direction or the other, you'll get a series of texts that alerts you that, hey, there's a lot of buying pressure with the plus 1000 tick readings, or conversely, there's a lot of selling pressure with the minus 1000 tick readings, and you get all of that directly on your mobile device without ever even needing to look at your charts. So I find that to be a very useful way to keep track of the tick without needing to constantly monitor and watch the tick chart, especially when you have other markets that you might be trying to focus in on. All right, I hope you found this video to be useful. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and we'll see you in the next update.